Welcome to Uncaged Zoo Tours. Before we begin, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to join the zoo team. Today, in a very special episode, we'll be visiting the McQueen Science Center's World of Water Aquarium. This museum's mission is to spark wonder and curiosity about our world through hands-on science. Our first stop is another Alabama-focused exhibit, River Journey, a scaled-down rendition of the Cahaba River. The Cahaba River is one of the most biologically diverse rivers in the country and the longest free-flowing river in Alabama. The first tank contains spotted bass, black buffalo fish, largemouth bass, and the stars, red-eared cooters, and yellow-bellied sliders. Like most turtles, they can tuck their head into their shell, and because of their small size, they make great pets. The next two tanks feature more of the river's residents, but I would like to give the spotlight to the spotted gar. Gars have a beak that can be used to catch fish. They also have a streamlined body that helps them swim through water. In the same tank, I would also like to give the spotlight to the common snapping turtle. Snapping turtles have a very large beak with enough force to bite off a human's finger. But when threatened, they decide to swim away. The next exhibit display really demonstrates the museum's mission to spark wonders through hands-on science. Welcome to the Shark and Ray Touch Tank. This exhibit features a 7,000 gallon saltwater open air tank where visitors can touch white-spotted bamboo sharks, southern stingrays, and cow-nose stingrays. Some people may be frightened to pet a shark, but these little guys feed on small fish, worms, and crustaceans. Now for the rays. All 630 species of ray are cartilaginous fish, which means they don't have bones. When predators are around, they will hide under the sand by moving their wings and flipping sand on top of them. There are also displays that feature a great white's teeth, a quote from Peter Benchley, the author of Jaws, which also explains why sharks don't deserve such a bad reputation. There are also lessons on how sharks are important to the environment, and you can even learn about some of the world's other sharks and rays. You can even design your own shark using features from several different species. The saltwater theme continues in the ocean journey, Outside is a tank full of tropical fish, including yellow tanks, Spanish hogfish, fairy basilet, and the tiny Bangai cardinal fish. Bangai cardinal fish live in the waters of Indonesia. They can be very colorful, but they are endangered due to the exotic pet trade. Starting off the rotunda are fuzzy lionfish, black banded damsel, and a bunch of coral. People think that coral are an aquatic plant, but they are actually animals. Next is the Indo-Pacific. This tank contains 10 species, but I want to focus on the pendant coral fish. If put in a small aquarium, these fish can be very aggressive. The next tank contains a juvenile bamboo shark, a pencil urchin, and green chromosids. From the Caribbean Reef are Blue Reef Chromises, more Spanish Hogfish, and Potfish. But I would like to focus on the Pincushion Urchin. Like coral, urchin are animals, but they are echinoderms, a group of spiny invertebrates that also contains sea stars. There's also a striped burrfish. Like all porcupine fish, they puff up their bodies into a spiny ball to make themselves look bigger. But that's not the only defense. When these fish die, they release toxins that could be harmful to other sea creatures. Our next stop is the Gulf of Mexico, which is home to 10 species including lookdowns and French angelfish. The tank star is Mo, the moray eel. Like sharks, moray eels have a bad reputation of being aggressive. 
However, they only attack if they are disturbed. You may notice that Moe's opening his jaw. That's how they breathe. Now we're moving into a new class of animals, which are moon jellies. These weird alien-like creatures are Nidarians, a type of invertebrate that lacks a brain, heart, or skeleton, but they do have a digestive cavity that helps them swallow food. In the Pacific Northwest, you might find four species, but I only found a striped perch. The last tank is home to several species of coral, reef lobster, and the banded coral shrimp. These little crustaceans can only live for two years, but they can mate for life. Even though most shrimp can be seen as food, banded shrimp are known to make great pets. From the rotunda is a display of shells from all over the world. As you make your way out, you might see a tank of bamboo shark pups. Like mammals, sharks reproduce by internal fertilization and give birth to two to a hundred live pups depending on the species. And on another note, these pups are the perfect end to our aquatic adventure. From here, you can visit their IMAX Stone Theater, their dinosaur display, and the rest of the McQueen Science Center. Thank you for watching.